Welcome to the Engineering Update. I'm Casey Panetta, Managing Editor of ECN. And in this week's episode, the 3D printed creation that replaced a $42,000 prosthetic, turning people into roving Wi-Fi hotspots, and a big first for the X47B UAV. <music> 3D printing is one of those technologies that is kind of a hobbyist feel for the consumer market, but big potential for specialized markets like military or medical. A few weeks ago, we talked about a surgery that replaced an entire skull with a 3D printed version in order to fix a potentially deadly medical problem. 3D printing allows for new and innovative medical techniques that are capable of solving problems previously considered fatal. However, it also has the potential to replace expensive medical equipment with cheaper and more personalized technologies. Jose Delgado Jr., a 53-year-old man born without most of his left hand, is one person that stands to benefit greatly from 3D printing. Jose has a $42,000 myoelectric prosthetic arm that is able to use muscle signals to open and close. Insurance paid for some of it, but he paid about half out of pocket. The drawbacks of his traditional prosthesis and the expense had Jose looking for a better alternative. Jeremy Simon from 3D Universe was able to create a 3D printed hand that he calls the Cyborg Beast. It's a completely mechanical device made from ABS plastic with a series of flexible cords that allow it to act like a real hand. It turned out so well that Jose says he prefers it for day-to-day -day use. Apparently, it increases functionality and if he ever breaks a part of it, another one can be quickly printed. So how much does this 3D printed arm cost? About 50 bucks in materials, plus a few hours of labor time. While well, it won't win any fashion points, no seriously, it really, really won't win any fashion points, the experimental 3D printed BB suit from Dutch fashion designer Bori, I'm not gonna even try to pronounce that name, could turn people into walking Wi-Fi hotspots. The cotton onesie, which looks like a hybrid between a bathrobe and full body cast, includes Wi-Fi, GPS, NFC, and Bluetooth, and in South by Southwest, Bori tested a prototype by allowing attendees to upload their own songs to the suit, creating a custom playlist. He also outfitted a model with his BB suit and allowed others to track her location on Google Maps. The Dutch fashion designer was able to hide batteries, processor boards, UI actuators, and copper cables in the suit's pockets, and the synthetic fiber enables the tech itself to work like a charm. But the contraption in its current form is too much of an eyesore for realistic wear, and the double cotton layered suit would be completely impractical for the summer. Still, the tech is fascinating, and the BB suit prototype will probably evolve several times over before reaching consumers' hands and bodies. Then again, if geeks embrace the Segway and Google Glass, both eyesores of the highest order, perhaps the BB suit is closer to market than we realize. The X-47B unmanned combat air system hit another first earlier this month with the successful completion of the first night flights. The UAV first took to the air in early 2011 and has since spent its time running through the big first, including being the first UAV to launch and recover from an aircraft carrier. The night flight, which took place April 10th at an air base in Maryland, was another big first for the unmanned system. Just one day before the launch, the combined U.S. Navy Northrop Grumman X-47B team received the prestigious Robert J. Collier Trophy in recognition of their achievements in aeronautics and astronautics, joining legends like Orville Wright, Apollo 11, and the Hubble Telescope. The aircraft is scheduled to enter service in 2019 and has a few milestones to come, including figuring out how unmanned aircraft will interact with manned aircraft in shared airspace. That's all for this week's news. Join in the conversation on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, or check out our old videos at ecnmag.com. For the ECN channel, I'm Casey Panetta, and this has been your engineering update.